Hey guys, what's going on? It's Adam W. Sky High here today, recording a video for you guys. Today, I am going to show you guys how to download and install mods for Minecraft, the PC edition, and this will be for 1.7.2, and you will have to download it and install Forge, but don't worry, it's completely virus-free, and it's really easy to use. But before we go ahead and download the mods, we're going to have to do a few things just so that Forge will work. You're going to want to go ahead and open up your Minecraft launcher. Let this load. Okay, once your Minecraft launcher is done loading, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click create new profile. And you can just call this 1.7.2 because you're going to have to manually run 1.7.2 because Forge only works for 1.7.2 and 1.6.4 and below as of right now, which is really sad because I, I just hope that they make a newer version. So hopefully they'll make a newer version soon, but as of right now, you can only use 1.7.2 and 1.6.4, I believe. So you're just going to have to manually run 1.7.2 if you don't already have it on your computer. Now, unfortunately, I don't have it on my computer because I downloaded Minecraft on when 1.7.3 just came out which is <laughs> kind of unlucky for me but I didn't know how to do mods then so I didn't really care uh, and then I had it deleted so I don't have 1.7.3 either I have 1.7.4 and up because I deleted it by accident and then reinstalled it and so now I am on 1.7.9 <laughs> because these updates are coming out like crazy even though some of them are really just small updates so like I said, you're going to want to create a new profile, just call it 1.7.2, and you can click use version, find 1.7.2, and then just click save profile, and then load it up, and then that will download version 1.7.2, and the way you know that you have it is if you go to percent, app data, percent, and you click on dot minecraft, and then you click on versions there will be something right here that says 1.7.2 so you can use that to you can check here just to know that you have it so and yes I know I have 1.5.2 but that was because I was trying to do a different mod but that doesn't really matter right now so you can go ahead and close out of this for now and you want to go ahead and open up your web browser sorry about that open up your web browser and you want to go to files.minecraftforge.net link to it will be in the description and you want to go here where it says 1.7.2 recommended because I just prefer to use this version. Uh, it's just something that I prefer. Or you can do latest. I don't really care what you do, but I just usually do recommended. And then you just go over to the area that says installer. Here it is. Sorry. I don't know what I was doing. Installer. And you just want to click on that. It'll take you to this add fly link. And normally there would be an ad here, but I have ad block on, so there is no ad. So it's just going to say, please wait five seconds up here in this corner. And you're just going to wait. And go ahead and click skip ad. And then down here, it'll say, this type of file can harm your computer. Do you want to keep it anyways? Yes, you want to keep it. Don't worry, it won't harm your computer. It's just saying that because it's a modded version of Minecraft and, you know. So we're just gonna ha go ahead and let that load. Actually, you can click on that while it's loading so that it'll open. All right, and it'll bring you up to here. And this is just really easy. As you can see, it says install client. You can just go ahead and click OK because then you are finished with that part and you're done with Forge. You have everything ready for it. So while we're waiting for that to load, you can go to percent app data percent, but I already have it says successful. Go ahead and click OK. But I already have a shortcut right here to percent app data percent dot Minecraft. You can do that if you guys want to get here fast to install your mods. And if you do not already have a folder right here that says mods, you can just here I'll delete it just to show you. You can just right click here, new folder, and then just call it mods. and as you can see the mods folder is empty 
so now we're going to go ahead and install some mods but right here I have some mods already that's because I've done this before just to test it out as you can see I have done a whole bunch of different mods like Archimedes ships mod biomes of plenty too many items but for this tutorial I will be installing the Optifine mod so you can go ahead and exit out of this because you will need it no more and you can usually find mods on the Minecraft forums so since I want Optifine I'm just going to scroll down and find um where is it here where it says Optifine HD Ultra for Minecraft 1.7.4 I'm going to want to show the older versions and I'm going to want the 1.7.2 version since I am using Forge for 1.7.2 since you are using Forge the 1.7.2 version you can only get mods for version 1.7.2 so until they come with the forge for 1.7.9 or whatever you can't install mods for 1.7.9 but that's just fine there's not really much of a difference like I said most of the mods um, above 1.7.2 are just like small mods that don't really matter in my opinion so I'm just gonna go ahead and click download to get this mod and if you guys don't know what Optifine is Optifine basically makes your game less laggy it gives you a whole bunch of like different options you can render your sorry you can make your render distance a lot better it's really cool so again it'll take you to this add fly link you just want to click skip add and it will take you here alright you're just going to want to download it and it's going to be the same type of file as the forge file you just want to click save as you can see it is a java file so i still have my mods folder open here but in case you don't remember how to get there you can just click this drag it to your desktop for now Let me move that out of the way move that back just go ahead and go to your startup menu and this works for windows 7 as well go to percent app data percent and as you can see, we're at .minecraft. Go to your mods folder. Take your mod right here and just drag it in like so. And then you have your mods success su <laughs> successfully successfully installed. So now what you want to do is open up Minecraft once again. Just let this load. Okay, as you can see, it is now loading. Uh again with the same um, thing I already have a forge uh, profile here already actually I'm not entirely sure I made that but uh, it might have already been there but just to be sure you can go over to your profile editor and as you can see it is using forge version if you do not already have that you can go ahead and click new profile go ahead and call it forge or mods or whatever I'm just gonna call it mods and then you want to go to down to this use version area you want to click it scroll down all the way to the bottom there should be this forge version i'm using release 1.7.2 forge 10 12 1 10 60 right, so you just want to go ahead and click on that save profile all right and here it is the mods profile and as you can see it says ready to play forge so you're going to want to go ahead and click play because now you'll be able to play with your mods and a way that you know that you have the mods is a way that I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so it's finally loaded, and as you can see down here, you have Minecraft 1.0.2. It says all this stuff. Forge Mod Loader, I believe that's what that means. And that's just telling you the version. And Minecraft Forge Optifine, that shows the mod that is installed. There are three mods loaded, three mods active. And as you can see, there is a new menu right here that says mods. You can click on that, and it'll show the mods. I have Optifine right here which is pretty cool and usually it'll show some stuff down here about um, some options so I'm just gonna go ahead and go to options just to show you what Optifine does and go to video settings and as you can see you can do a whole lot more stuff down here I'm just gonna go all the way up to my unlimited max frame rate just for this and you can also do like animations I'm just gonna turn everything off make sure everything is off performance you know you can just have all that on there's quality and there's a whole bunch of stuff it's really cool it definitely gets rid of a ton of the lag and so yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and please remember to like it up or subscribe if you guys want to see some more videos and yeah
Uh, this does work for just about all mods for 1.7.2. As you can see, I have all of these mods, such as damage indicators and whatnot, and they're really useful mods, and they're just things that add a lot more spice to the game, and I promise you it is a ton of fun to play with these mods. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely smack that like button and think about subscribing. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.